Hello, hello, hello. I'm BU Squaller. This is episode 186 of the Packers Let's Play, and I am looking at the running backs for the year, and we can see that Connor Cunningham is 6.2 yards a carry, um, 15 touchdowns, averaging 127.5 yards a game. There's two games left for him. Uh, so let's, let's just do the math here. He's going to break 2,000 or not. So one... 5 plus 27.5 plus 27.5. That's 2040. So he, he looks like he's going to crack the 2,000 yard mark. Banks Wilson has a higher average, but isn't um, as hurt. So, but Vince Trent here, he's he's uh, seventh on the list here. 5.1 yards of carry, averaging 112 game, 12 yards of carry. 12 yards uh, a game. I would put him as the fifth best running back on this list. I think maybe fourth. Fourth best because 5.5 yards a carry is a little bit better. Banks Wilson, 6.4 yards. He's probably a better running back. Yeah, you're fifth best. Fifth best. But uh, yep, yeah, um, we already went over the fact that we were playing the Lions. And uh, that's what we're going to do right now all right we're on defense first and we have the number two defense overall and off the moss up the middle big gain on first down six yards that's where i want to start it it's the clapper Jason garrett no sean it's sean Payton. It's garrett someone else Somewhere else. Maybe Sean Payton. Pick it down and four. Compton. Back to pass. Pressure's coming up. He sees it and he gets it away to Kraft. Gets a nice gain there. 23 yards. Just a second behind. Yeah. Second behind from getting a nice sack, but definitely Sean Payton. Colts, six. Right. And off to Moss. Moss runs into Kenny Clark. You know how I traded for the center black and I paid a lot for him. And the, 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 Twenty twenty eight sixth, two sixth and a seventh. Twenty twenty eight. So that's like next year. Draft, and uh, that's an incomplete pass. But he's played really good. So it's been been what we needed, you know. So so far. I've been very, very happy with that trade. About that, I mean, that was Marcus Barley we sent to the Saints for Tremont Boyle. Two sevens. That's like good. And they're punting, and someone's hurt. Oh no! I don't know who's that? that McGatterly that was hurt? Oh yeah, it was. Eggs. You know, Ellis will be coming in. His replacement. Is away. Not returnable. Or at the 20. There he goes. Rough Harv. 
nine touchdowns, zero interceptions. That's more Aaron Rodgers like. Part would be seven and five. But with miracle plays to win games. The black back to pass. Pumps it off to Bradham. Need about three on that play, maybe four. Line, Pretty solid. Brent, a lot of superstars on that. Field positions. We have a bench, Brent, with the Bradham and Austin. That did not work at all. Yard rush, lost a yard. Just moving with the tackle. Let's so see if they line up as a 4 3. I just don't remember. Yes, they do. Yeah, see, that's what you would want. That's a little dump off the Trent. He's got speed for days and makes the first down. And three MVPs, their guy turns into a beast. I want to win the Super Bowl and do the. Oh, oh it would have been cool if he would have got that on the deflection. Lion defense. Pay attention to the other teams too. Have them get debuffed if they get five Super Bowls. Oh, that's a terrible play call. Uh, let's those who wins. Bag Seahawks, Panthers, Packers, Packers, Chiefs, Packers, Packers, Eagles, Bears. In okay, there's been no repeat Super Bowl winners. Other than us. Oh. Chiefs won. That was that was a killer because Set up a screen and he gets rid of it but throws it away. We're punting. That was not a great series. In halftime. Okay, we start the second half with them kicking it out of bounds. Which means that we get at the 40, which is great. Um, our offense not doing so well against this Lions defense. Uh, interesting, but there we go. Vince Trent showing off there. Our defense is doing really well there. It looked like the Lions were going to score a touchdown. Just before halftime, but George, George, um, this is his last name. Okay, I mean, that's the offensive list. George Riley kicked off the ball and, uh, and that no interceptions for them, or no touchdowns for them. Interception for us. Hand off. Nope, fix it. And he's got to get rid of the ball. He does not. It's a fumble. It's going to be picked up by Madison. Madison rumbles forward for like four yards. But all in all, it's a loss of nine on the play. Okay. Second down and 19. And off bench Trent up the middle. We got eight on that one. Six yards. Third and 13, big. Third and 13, Minnesota. Six and eight. I like them when they're right in the middle there. No, no buff players for them. 
Pass up the middle. Debos getting it done. Great pickup. We didn't pick up. We didn't have much cash. Free agency market. He has worked out pretty well, I think. Oh, that was not great. And he's done that five times in this game. And there's just way too many quarterback options. See, I thought that's why Tony Obololi would be good. But then he was running. He would just throw it off his back foot all the time. And it was not good. It was good the first year. But after that, I just felt like I needed to get a pocket passer. And I got a pocket passer. And maybe because his awareness is not great. That isn't great. So... I think if we're not drafting in the top 10, we're not picking up the top 4, 5, 6 maybe. Then you can draft. Oh no, kicking a field goal. Oh, they need to go. Alright, two score game now. And that's good. Yeah, the draft strategy would be if we had a top 10 pick, we would definitely pick a top, uh, top 5, top 6 quarterback to get the buffs for it. With a, you know, but if not, then Ron Brazell is great and all, but oh no, he's going to distance. This is a kick return for a touchdown. No one's going to catch him touchdown we haven't seen one of those in forever oh my goodness and it's his second one of the year and just like that oh my goodness they do happen they are pretty mythical but got around the corner and catch them i can't even pick speed on my punter as a Option C, that's you should be able to buff every stat. Okay, end of the game. Crazy, crazy. Seal the deal with a one point win, five field goal day for the Packers offense. I think this first down right here, third and two. First down. Additional run just for the heck of it. Neil, game over. One point win after blowing out the 49ers. We scraped by the Lions here. Not a great game. Jason, 73.6 rating. 155 yards, 51% completion, but still better. Vince Trent, getting it done. Bryant Moss, man, 4.4 yards. Look at this, man. They're running the ball like crazy. Everybody deceiving. Ebos. Radam. Vince Trent. White sides. Look at that. Yeah, that was pretty uh pretty heavy on that. Defensively. We didn't get to the quarterback. No stallings. George Riley. Interception by George Riley. Let's look at the Lions sack total. Two and a half for Jordan Witherspoon. One and a half for Harlan Lover. But we won by a point and get to finish the game. Go to next week. A lot. If this could be. We could have clinched the one seed. A 49ers loss. 49ers lose. Clinch the one seed. You see, I think. I think we clinched the one seed regardless. We're playing the Vikings next week. We have the tiebreaker over the 49ers on a head to head. And. The Lions, or the 49ers lost. They lost two in a row. The Eagles lost. We won. We clinched the one seed. This game has no meaning for us. We're going to have to pull starters. 
and uh, just not risk any injuries, basically. Obviously, the offensive line, it's hard to do since we don't carry enough to do that, but Seahawks are 7 and 8 now, I think. I think that means that they can't get in either. They finish 8 and 8. A lot of teams would finish 8 and 8. And we might be able to still at 8 and 8. NFC winner, West, East, South winner, though they didn't clinch yet. Wild card, wild card. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if Seahawks had everybody lose and they won, then everybody would be 8-8. Eight and eight. And I'm not sure that they have to the tiebreaker over all that many people, but they have a seven-game losing streak going on. What? So they were like, oh. Let's look at their schedule. There's no way that that's the right... I mean, I wasn't paying attention, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess so. They were one point in the season. Seven and one. They were seven and one. And then it just went all crazy. Oh, man. Russell Wilson not playing? That's what it is. Russell Wilson's not playing. I mean, that's not the only reason, but... Let's look at their injury schedule. Their injury report. Russell Wilson, hamstring tear. Chris Carson, Todd Gurley. Oh, no, that's Don Carson. Hard girly. Yeah, so he... He missed some time, huh? Twenty-three and ten? Yeah, played twelve games so far. Wow. Just like that. Seven and one. Another six and one, seven and one, and then lost seven straight. Dang. And I'm still battling over this. He didn't want five years. Why do you want five years? Why couldn't it have been three years? Bethel, comparison to uh, Ari, I mean, a lot of tackles. They're playing great. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do these either. Oh, I don't know. Well, I think this guy's a run stopper, though, right? Yeah, it's just the guy. Just the guy. All right. I just saw that the Colt, the Colts, the Lions, the Lions are uh, moving. They're they're building a new stadium. Oh, so, that's kind of neat. Uh. So we decided to pull starters and put in the backups. So we got some some interesting matchup here against the Vikings. I well, I don't think we're gonna do so well with this lineup, but it doesn't matter. I just don't want major injuries to any key players, and it gotta start some somebody. So especially when you only carry eight offensive linemen or seven. I think you carry seven. Maybe at eight. Hmm. I had two two left tackles, two backup left tackles and a backup center. So we only have eight linemen. 
know a couple of them are going to keep playing, but uh, Keelan Bibbs is getting the, the start, and Titus Nixon, and Frankie, the tight end, the Frankie, um, think of his name right now. Frankie McGee, tight end. So, it'd be a good game. Without the, uh, without the starters in there. and We're going to start on defense with our backups. Both, 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 uh, both safeties were benched. Of course, that does mean that special teams has a lot of top talent on it. Justin Peel. Oh wow. Vikings are going completely, completely new. Must have had an injury or something. This guy has no stats on the year. I didn't even look. I just went down. And it bounced off the back of number 48 there. <laughs> okay. That's how you start a game. Point Jeffers, Buckers. I say Noble. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have looked at the, the chart for them. It gives the Packers backups. A little bit more to play for. There we go. Neil Ellis getting a tackle. And Isaiah Noble. Former starter. Dante Drivers in there. Third down and 12. And it's a sack. Nope, it's a fumble, and it's picked up by the Packers. With the sack. Oh, that was Javante Driver with the sack. Bring him to a deal, and then made him a backup. Claiborne is in there. Look at that. Brandon Claiborne. That was... Uh, Jordan Weems with the recovery, and here comes Keelan Bibbs. Hand off to Nixon. I've scored. And Tyrus Nixon is not bad. He's a 75 overall power running back, so he'll be perfectly fine. Hand it to him again. He kind of the wrong way, I guess. Down in seven now. A sliding barn door. Or a door and a cat. This cat. I have two cats. One cat can't figure it out. Another cat can. McGee, he stepped out of bounds. Kicking a field goal. One in the normal mode. Well, the Packers backups are leading the game 10 to 3 right now. Um, not, not much to talk about on the Minnesota's offensive side. They didn't really do much on the defensive side. They slowed us down enough that we've only scored one touchdown. And uh, it's been a thing. We missed the block there. Pretty McGahee, the tight end. This is the block. Excuse me. Second down and nine. Kevin Brightful with the tackle. And off the Nixon big hole. Dukes, but breaks the tackle. Gets decent yardage. He's got 78 yards now already. He's like a mini version of Vince Trent. Not a mini version. And not quite as good version, I guess. 
didn't expect too many. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. We did not make it on third down there with that run. We're going to punt. Not great. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about Pro Bowlers, Pro Bowlers because like we still have a good defense. It wasn't great. I mean, like, the average was good, you know. Offensively, you know, is there, is there anyone going to the Pro Bowl? Oh, I mean, this might be the best... 14 and 2 team not to have a Pro Bowler. What a great punt! Got weary there. Needs 26,000 experience to get 99 leg strength. A couple of players playing their last game. Not true, because we're going to play in the playoffs. Last season for the Packers. I'm going to let them all walk. Let them all walk. And, uh, means we need to look at right outside linebacker. They all are going <laughs> to... Natalie didn't want five years, man. I just don't want to give them a five-year deal. Why? I'm still fighting over that one. Ooh, big hit there. Oof. Uh, oh, Fane wearing Reggie White's number. It's last year, too. Do I want to sign him to a couple of year deal? His backup depth. I might still sign before. I'm just not sure. That looks like it's a free 15 yards. Greg Hoyt with the heavily. Very Mac is 23. 76 overall. Antoine Bethel is a 78. He's 27. It's not. Oof, man. Blown coverage there. I mean, running back get out in the flat there. Oof. Outside linebackers, they're all Brian Pincher and McCadley. Right, here we go. Blue kick in 24. Marion. Man, you guys gotta throw that flat. What's going on there? But it's not going well. Of course, if we sign, we sign McCadley. I mean, we can trade block him if we need to. Contract's not that bad, actually. 26 to 31. Nice. Right? Is that right? No, he's 26 to 31. Nice catch. The Vikings are just driving down the field on the back of defense. Mission coverage there. I think I think um I think I gotta go and keep them on the sign. Two low rated linebackers. Academy. Let the safety go, Antoine Bethel. Kelly's only 25, so like 26, 27, 28, three years. I don't have to worry about replacing him unless I can find a right outside linebacker that can replace him, but that would not be. Quarterback is my more pressing position. <laughs> I think this would be a nice one on the market. This veteran, maybe. Oh, big hole up the middle. Isaac Noble, 13 inches. Yeah, I think, I think that's what we're going to do. We are going to sign. Fatterly in the two. All right, here we go. 
field, back to pass. Heel's in trouble, and Keel throws the ball into the ground. Uh, Andy Claiborne with the pressure. Nice, causing them to kick a field goal. And we're just going normal mode to the end of the game. You know, it's funny, I'd, I'd like to win, right? And unfortunately, the Packers are shooting themselves in the foot with the fumble and kick return, and now we're down by seven. They've scored 14 points. I'd like to win because, you know, 14 and 2 looks much better than 13, three, 13 and 3. But who knows how many, you know, by them winning this game, also they're picking 12th instead of 9th or something like that, you know? So it does appear that we are, uh, we are going to lose this game. No, no, we got a chance now. One timeout, minute 25. Can Elon Bibbs get it done with backup players all over? It looks like he's 35 seconds left. 20 seconds left. Nine seconds. Got to kick it in the end zone, and they do not. So we do drop the last game of the year. We are still the one seed. And uh, I didn't even look at the stats because it didn't even matter, I guess. So, I'm gonna adjust. I'm gonna adjust the. Uh... Oh, I got the Julio Jones Award. Okay, whatever that was for. Um... Finish 13 and 3. Just my, uh, I can't think all of a sudden. Step chart back and we'll sign, resign some players in the next episode. But for now, thanks for watching. BU Squaller signing off.